New houses certainly have their advantages. It's certainly easy to expect with a new house that you wouldn't have a lot of repairs or things to worry about. And uh, on the opposite side, if you have a house that's caught in a fire, you can see everything that's wrong with it. Uh, but what about if you're gonna buy an old house? Old houses have unmatched character and beauty, but don't let that fool you. Underneath the beauty can hide a bunch of issues. So we're gonna show you what to look for if you wanna buy an old house. Electrical issues are often hidden because they're behind the walls by design. If there's a junction box, it's supposed to be accessible. And when there's drywall over that, that's not very accessible. And then we open up this wall and found this. That wire there was hot. Just cut off and left inside the wall cavity. And then there's all these, there's all these crazy splices in this. This is just all wrapped up, spliced, left in the wall cavity, and pull away from it. They're just bundled up. And so this is some of the advantages of doing a, a large demo renovation, is you get to find a lot of these problems and correct them. But if you don't open up the walls, there's a certain amount of risk. Here you can see a knob, and the wires are are wrap around the knobs as means of support and then they go through the tubes that go through the joists or through cavities and uh, those are more than antiquated now in this house we found a stretch of knob and tube wiring that was still hot and leading to an outside porch light and it basically acts as an insulator but if you have those and they're hot you want your house rewired that's just a fire waiting to happen uh, you definitely need to contact an electrician. Other issues are found in the plumbing behind the walls in an old house. Uh, leaks you just can't see unless they are so bad that they've done damage to a ceiling or a floor. The copper and that copper, you can tell that's been leaking. And there's some sketchy plaster work in the kitchen ceiling, so you can tell that's where that's come from. Also, when we looked into this cavity here, saw looks like a bunch of socks wrapped around this plumbing pipe but when you're looking to buy an old house and the walls are all sealed up you really have no idea that that's that's behind the walls when you get a house inspected they may not be able to find this on top of all this are just the age of the plumbing fixtures themselves seeing this pipe it is just full of debris inside the pipe after decades and decades of use Floor sags are something that is in plain sight, but often the cause is sometimes hidden. So you have to do a little detective work. Uh, when you're looking at floor sags, you want to see the underlying cause. And that usually means going down below, either into a crawl space or a basement or some area that gives you access to what's underneath a sag and a floor. Oftentimes we have found all kinds of holes and cuts and joists that just absolutely stagger the imagination. Sags are often very fixable, but you have to know what you're looking at and what you're facing if you're going to try to attempt a repair. A real simple thing to, to check the health of your HVAC is to look inside the returns. Here we pull the grate off the, off the air return and look inside the cavity and there are literally just decades worth of dust and debris hidden inside those returns. It's very easy to look for. Water damage is something that has telltale signs. The wood is just completely eaten away and they had leaks in this area of the house and water is death to wood. Of all things that can be wrong with house, water damage is probably the worst because it's insidious till it finally causes a huge problem. And you can see here, these problems are, these walls were badly damaged by water intrusion, leaky roofs and the like. If you're looking at an old house and it's showing signs of water damage, you gotta know the damage can be very extensive and involve major repairs. These old houses, a lot of them had, have no insulation in the exterior walls. Uh, they were designed that way. Heating and cooling was uh, less of a concern a hundred years ago. The houses were designed with plaster walls and they breathed. Air from the inside went to the outside uh, and always uh, usually ended up drying up the air cavities in there, even if there were leaks, just like here. You can see the water stains on the wood itself. But lack of insulation means big utility bills. Unless you deal with that, and that is something that's very complicated to address. 
the windows weren't flashed like they are today. And so there's always air gaps, light gaps you can see through there. And it's not just at the bottom of the windows, but even as you go up high on this one, you can see daylight there around the edges of the, the trim. And uh, again, air gets through and makes the, an older house potentially feel a little more drafty. There's a lot of reasons to buy an old house. Cost, beauty, design, uh, character, where they're located. But in the end, you have to know that when you buy an old house, you're buying all those decades of age and issues with it. Knowing that th these potentials exist give you an opportunity to make sure you're making a good decision and are uh, buying it with eyes wide open and the ability to address any issues that come down the come down the pike. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you know someone who knows what they're doing uh, that can help you with the repairs. Uh, but in the end, make sure you buy an old house with eyes wide open and aware of everything that you might just you might be facing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We've got lots more videos coming. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.